when I saw your your tight ass. Do you remember when you got naked for me? Holy shit. It's a ship show. Hi, I'm Cherokee McAnally, and you're watching Total Ship Show, a brand new series that sails into the ever-changing waters of Tumblr's most beloved ships. I'm here today with Michael Vlamis and Tyler Blackburn from the CW's Roswell, New Mexico. We're gonna launch the series with one of the top ships on Tumblr at the moment, Malix. Thanks for being here today, guys. Thanks for having us. Thank you for having us. So we're gonna start off by getting kind of the history of Malix in your own words. This is gonna take up the whole interview, but uh, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Tyler, uh, I guess, did it all start with me stealing your guitar? What the hell, Garen? Alex had like a little bit of a emo rocker vibe happening and uh, Michael Garen was just sort of, I mean like quite literally, you know, trailer trash, right? Yeah, I was living out of my truck. You really do live in your truck. But they both were outcasts, both queer, but they had that special bond. Alex comes back 10 years later uh, after being in the Air Force and he serves me some papers that I have to move my Airstream off this government land. Hey, that's private property! Alex. After 10 years, the love had not faded. They go back at it, but it's it's still um, very tumultuous. Alex finds out that Michael's an alien. He didn't know that, Friar. Through it all, pieces wanted to be together. It was Malix forever in the long run, and they got married. Which leads to our next segment, which is a little game called Fishing for Compliments. Ooh, I like to do that. The aim of the game here is to give each other increasingly awkward and or tender compliments, and the first one to reel in a big laugh wins. <sighs> oh, this could get really bad. Well, first, Tyler, I just want to tell you that you have the most gorgeous V-shaped swimmers back. Oh, it just gets me going. Wow. Thank you so much. The things I could do to that curly hair are endless. I wanna braid it. I wanna cut a piece off and put it in a jar and look at it every night before I go to bed. You're sick. <laughs> you have the softest, most sensual lips. You know how to work your tongue but your mustache does get in the way. But that is a compliment, because it's very manly. Mm. Thank you so much. You know, when we were shooting that um, one merch drop photo shoot, um, when I saw your your tight ass, do you remember when you got naked for me? <laughs> I didn't break. I didn't break. Yeah, you did. Really, my favorite memories are coming over to your house mm. late at night, touching your leg, that that wounded leg that I just think about and yearn for in my airstream. Mm. Is Aurora right there by chance? Remember our remember my date with her without you? I talked to her about maybe the three of us getting together. <laughs> I broke, I can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's going, oh my God. No, I'm just kidding, I did. I do love Aurora though. So the, the next little thing we have here, we pulled together some posts from the Malix tag on Tumblr for you to check out and kind of react and respond to. So just say whatever comes to mind as you see each post and we're gonna kind of cycle through them. So prepare yourself. This is amazing. Is that a real thing? This is the fantasy if I would have proposed to you and this is exactly how I would have done it. <laughs> My God, I was so pathetic. I was crying so much on that truck. <laughs> oh, shit. Look at, wait, look at these hashtags. Pathetic wet dog of a man. <laughs> what? People are brutal, dude. Wow, dude, are we Sims right now? That looks like you. 
go for this though, like we look really good. Hey, Sims too. I never looked this good on Sims. You know, we look like a couple of Austin, Texas gays. Why is your skin so nice, dude? Huh? In the picture, man. In the sim. Oh, in the picture? Alex getting abducted. Oh, that's <laughs> hilarious. For the third time. Incredible. Oh, I keep coming back pregnant. <laughs> You'd be good at carrying our kids. You should carry the I am, kids. I am so moody. I don't think I could handle pregnancy. I'm so moody. I would just pamper you. You'd be fine. And then finally. Oh my God. Does he have heels on too? Yeah. This is amazing. Wait, why did he become a werewolf though? I'm confused. Because I elevated, dude. I am a werewolf. That's me going into deep sky and saving the day, man. Thanks. Well, we'll do community questions now that you've seen, you know, the community answers to Malik's. Orchard and Snow asked, what about a spinoff? What would the premise be? Oh, I, 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 what if Garen gets abducted by evil aliens and I have to then find a way to get to you and save you in space? Twist. That's never happened before. Malik C forever. Malik C forever. Quiet Echoes in the Dark asked, what's your dad band gonna look like? Well, I do like Maloxy for the name. Yeah, I think that, thank you. Maloxy is such a dad band name. It is, it is. Tonight's special guest, Maloxy. I think it would just be the two of us. Maybe we get someone on the tambourine in the background for just effect. Um, I play guitar drunk, for you me, play no. piano, sing. Yeah, Trevino's just Trevino's back there looking the back hot. On like a tamarind. And he's got his doctor outfit on. And it's yeah. just open. We know we've seen something old, we've seen something new, we've seen something borrowed, and we have definitely seen something blue for quite a lot of the season. Uh, so <laughs> we are gathered here today to fill in some of the blanks left by the final episode of what absolutely no one is calling Raw's Wedding New Melexico. <laughs> oh my gosh. Absolutely no one is coming. Like Absolutely no one, but I hope they start. Yeah, they will. And I also noticed that the final, uh, the finale didn't have your vows. So I was wondering, uh, what would your vows be? I know that we've said it a bunch during the, the show, but like the feeling of being at home. Garen has always struggled to feel like he belongs on Earth. Alex has always struggled to feel like he belongs in his family. And then I feel like for a little tongue in cheek, it would just, I'd have to talk about like his curls on his head and how much I want to play with them. <laughs> That's very sweet. Yeah, they kind of didn't, they didn't need to show vows because they kind of already have explained our vows in so many different scenes, you know, with the, you know, Alexander means you are my home. You are my home or the amount of time we've said the pieces want to be together and the pieces they want to be together or the amount of times we referred to cosmic like i feel like all of these little pieces are the things that would make up the vows you know yeah. i mean just the fact that, like michael garen his whole life was trying to find home by traveling across the universe and found it in alex mains how can you not put that in a vow you, you had Garen's admission to Alex, like, I found a way back to my home planet, you know, and uh, he chooses to stay. That says it all. I think the spinoff is probably him regretting it. <laughs> Going <laughs> back to one Garen, we're right back where we started with the drama. So before we send you to a Malaxy far, far away, do you have any final words for, for the fans? For the fans, I wanna say keep the Sims content coming. I want more of those. I wanna get the game and make our own and like create a family and see what happens. I'm gonna go on Tumblr today and find more of those. Well, thank you guys so much for coming on today and taking the time. This was truly like a blast. Thank you so much for having us. This was a total ship show.